Becky Biggins is now live, you're quite right. Right, should we make a start? We're writing a song today, everybody. So I started this on Boxing Day last year at kind of five o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. I was sleeping in here for some reason. Probably a little bit drunky pops and been chucked out of my bed. No live, okay, cool. Um, yeah, and so uh, I started this at five o'clock in the morning last Boxing Day. <laughs> it's called You Bring Out the Worst in Me. Um, now, we've done this a couple of times and we have actually got a bit of a verse. So I'm gonna play you, I'll play you what we've got so far. The story so far is, it's about a person who has just started seeing somebody and you know when you just start seeing somebody and it's really exciting and you kind of just want to spend all your time with them so even if you've got plans with other other people you drop them because you're like oh yeah but I'm seeing this new person and it's really exciting and it's great and it's basically saying that even though this is probably quite a good relationship and this person's really nice they're bringing out the worst in you because you're letting people down ah uh. So what's to, yeah, I'm telling you, Ankit, <laughs> that's what it is. So it's songwriting. So this is it. Today, 12A, Ops. You called me up, said you wanted to play. I had plans, but I said yes anyway. Have to imagine the orchestration, it really will be there. Then you. My friends sit me down and they scold me. Tell me I'm a fool to be untrue. Well, maybe I'm just starting to listen. Cause while you're getting the worst of me, I'm getting nothing of you. You bring out the That's why this thing of ours should never be And though I know you bring out the worst in me This is the last chorus by the way Somehow it brings out the best in you Oh, oh, oh. And though I know you bring out the worst in me change but there we go so that is you bring out the worst in me I'm kind of at I'm sort of at a stage with this where it's probably going to change so it started off as a song about basically being in a bit of a toxic relationship and actually you're not getting the things that you want and then I thought no because I'm always being told that my songs are a bit on the mongy side <laughs> and I need to blow in buck my ideas up and write about something oh in fact the other day so I I've been playing the album a lot in the house and um, the other day I played I'm Giving Up On You and Arch came downstairs and he went, I'm not giving up on you. And I was like, oh, that's so nice you changed the words. And Andy's like, yeah, because all your songs are miserable. <laughs> Shit. So Arch has decided that he's just going to rewrite my stuff because, um, you know, why, why be happy all the time? And if you are miserable, just write a song about it and make you feel better. See? So this one is called You Bring Out the Worst in Me, but uh, it might change, you know, things might change. Oh, hi, hi, Joe. Nice to see you. Ah, oh, bless you, thanks. That's really kind. That's really nice of you to say nice things on YouTube. So, so guys, I'm not sure about one bit or the other. I'm either not sure about, I'm either not sure, like the verses, the, sorry, the chorus, and 
the bridge are probably the strongest bits, but they are quite miserable. And then the verse is not that strong. So maybe I should just chuck the verse. I don't love it. I don't have to write a happy song, do I? <laughs> Who says? I write lots of happy songs, actually. Well, I wrote um, a song called What's a Girl to Do? And that started off as a song, well, it starts off as a song about sexting and ends up as a song about true love, which I think is really kind, which is really nice. So I don't always write morgy songs. Flat. I like E flat. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to change the verses because I really like the chorus and I really like the bridge. I think it's gonna be a song about cheating. I think it's gonna have to be. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna rip out this page and get rid of that verse because I don't like it. By the way, if you have any suggestions on what I should do, then you should just tell me. Apart from descending chord sequences, which I do constantly, constantly. Right, okay, let's get into the right headspace, shall we? So, you bring out the worst in me. That's why this thing of ours should never be. And though I know you bring out the worst in me, somehow it brings out the best in you. So it's kind of good for him or her. It was right from a sort of female perspective, funnily enough. So... Let me see, let me see. You bring out the worst in me. That's why this thing of ours should never be. We're in it, we're in B flat to start with. That's why this thing of ours should never be. I kind of like that chord sequence. What am I going to do about these chords? Chord two is a good E to start on. Okay, so those are some good chords. We've got C minor seventh. We've got E flat, which is chord five. And then we've got, no, that's chord four, sorry. Chord five, you bring out the worst. So we've got to, we've got to kind of hit an F seven. So we'll write that down there. That's to get us into a chorus and it's got to be a song about cheating okay cheating cheating songs oh what do we say we say it behind someone's back behind their back behind her back behind his back behind his back and they don't like it they don't like this thing that they're doing so it's about feeling guilty uh, guilty, um, what are we going to say, what are we going to say, hiya, hi Ron, how you doing, nice to see you, it's about feeling guilty, but being a bit addicted maybe, uh, what's, like, what's a good programme where people are cheating on other people, hi Dan, <laughs> we're writing a song about cheating, so what is a good programme? What have I watched about cheating? Uh, oh, that's, oh, oh, they didn't really care though. This is a person that cares, I think, that they're cheating. Right, I'll play, the, I'll play the chorus and the bridge again. So we've got to get into, that's the last chord in the chorus. You, I'm feeling guilty because I like her, I like that. You bring out the worst. Why can I not sing worse today? <laughs> You bring out the worst in me. That's why this thing of ours should never be. And though I know you bring out the worst in me, I don't really like that chord, I'm not gonna put that back. Somehow it brings out the best in you. And then we've got a bridge, which I like as well. My friend sit me down. You 
bring out the worst in me. And then we have the chorus again, but we've modulated, which I like. Okay, that's good. So, things about, good morning, David. Ah, oh, lovely to see you, David. I'm writing a song about something. I'm writing a song about cheating. We've, I mean, I've done it in the past when I was quite a lot younger. Um, it didn't end very well for anybody. It was a bit of a mess. Uh, how did that happen? <laughs> how did that happen? I met somebody at work. Uh, met you at work. See, I just write about things I know. Sometimes I just have to really sort of get back in the moment and, and think about like what happened at the time. I have to say, the person I cheated on, I was going out with for about three months. So it wasn't anything serious. Hi, Torbs. How are you doing? <laughs> You're downstairs looking after the kids. I think, I hope you are. I think you are. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Met your, so we've, we're saying that this person feels guilty, but they kind of almost can't help it. Just like an author, write what you know. That's it. That's it. I mean, I, it was a long time ago, but I have discovered. So I've always kind of written down my thoughts when I had something to, that, I, that was bothering me. So I've always had a notebook and I write down my thoughts. And I found one from when I was sort of 18, 19, 20 the other day. You know, when all of that really angsty stuff is happening. And it's great because it's got all this kind of stuff in. <laughs> and it's, it's so exciting. So it's excitement versus... Oh, um, excitement versus... Safety, I suppose. No one's going to help me with this, are they? Because you'll all be like, I've never cheated. I've never cheated on anybody. Writing a song about cheating, Torbs. I'm trying to remember my very young days. <sighs> Met your work. Excitement versus safety. I wouldn't even say safety. Uh, the thrill of Monday morning. And that kind of corresponds or uh, contrasts with, like, the despair of Friday night. Oh, I like that. The despair of Friday night. Because you won't see them at the, at the, um, you won't see them at the weekend. I like that. The, the thrill of Monday morning, the despair of Friday night. I'm going to just tell you all about it. So I was doing my teacher training and had a thing with another teacher at my school <gasps> all of my friends know about this anyway it's fine but it's a tricky one and people get hurt you know people really got hurt hello Murat how are you hi Vishesh how's it going hi Roel you okay <laughs> um okay the thrill of Monday morning the despair of Friday night uh, what rhymes with night? Fight. Uh, oh, I could be fighting at the weekend, maybe. Uh, knowing Sunday morning. Oh, this is good. Knowing Sunday morning will bring another fight. Yeah. So he or she is arguing with their partner. They're seeing them as long as it was not a student. It wasn't a student. Oh my God, David, can you imagine? Don't imagine. It was not a student, it was a teacher. Uh, yeah. And I was not a student, I was also a teacher. Monty. Monty Chef Alex. Monty Chef. Yet yeah, longing for another night. I like that. Longing for another night. That could be in the second verse, maybe. I, I worked with a brilliant songwriter who always said, when you write the first verse, you've just written the second verse. <laughs> and then you go back and you do it even better the second time, which I quite like. Okay, so we've got the thrill of Monday morning, the despair of Friday night. You know, even if we just get two lines, that's good, isn't it? The despair of Friday night. Oh, Monday morning, the despair of Friday night. Knowing, oh, knowing Sunday something, lions, lions, not lions, 
Knowing Sunday Lions. Knowing Sunday's Lion will just end in a fight. Mm. Oh my God, you can tell this isn't about my life right now. What's a lion? Who remembers a lion that's got two small children? Not blooming me. Okay, the thrill of Monday morning, the despair of Friday night, knowing Sunday lion, Sunday's lion will just end in a fight or will bring another fight. Knowing Sunday's lion will end. Sunday's lion will just end in a fight. Let's leave it like that for now. Learn to play the piano. The thrill of Monday morning, the despair of Friday night. Knowing Sunday's lying will just end in fight. to be flat clever people how am i gonna how am i gonna get to be flat like this um uh, mum, mum, i don't know uh it's all being revealed now i can see some doing a hundred lines after class <laughs> oh it sounds awful but you know i was like 22 yeah 22 and not in a serious relationship and you know fell for somebody and it all ended really badly, <laughs> David. Oh my goodness me. It does bring it all back though. It's really strange. It's really strange. <sighs> We've got to establish the fact that this person is with somebody that they're not really that into. Um, okay. So terrible. Now, I've also got to work out how I'm going to get from to... You bring out the worst in me. That's why this thing of ours should never be. And though I know you bring out the worst in me, somehow it brings out the best in you. I don't know if I like that line now. Somehow it brings out the best in you. Just lovers passing in the night, now the morning dawns. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I don't know if it's that romantic though. I don't think this is about romance. I think it's, oh, Mike, thanks. I think it's about like being a terrible person. Um, and mm, maybe it is about being a terrible person. Okay. Well, do you know what? We've got some lines. <laughs> We've got some lines, right. I'm gonna play you the best bit that's actually written once more. So we've got this as probably a second verse. The thrill of Monday morning, the despair of Friday night, knowing Sunday's lion will just end in a fight. And then we have to get land on this chord. You bring out the worst in me. That's why this thing of ours should never be. And though I know you bring out the worst in me. Somehow it brings out the best in you. And then we've got a bridge. Here we go. My friends sit me down and they scold me. Tell me I'm a fool to be untrue. Well, maybe I'm just starting to listen. Worst in me. That's why the 
You bring out the worst in me, and I need to do some more work on it. And I am planning to sit and write tomorrow, uh, Monday. I've got a meeting. Is it going to be from the woman's cheetah's perspective only? Oh, David, that's a good thing. Will it only be from this person's perspective? Good question. And giving me something to think about. Perspective. Will it only be from that person's perspective? Who knows? But yeah, I'm going to have a think. So everybody, thank you so, so much for your help today. Uh, pretty good. Thanks, David. I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go and do some baking with Hunter because I've already done baking with Arch. So now it's Hunter's turn. And then it's their nan's birthday. And even though we're in lockdown, they're going to make her a birthday cake. This is the idea. And then we're going to video call her. And then we're going to show her the birthday cake, which she can't eat. They haven't kind of got that yet. <laughs> That's probably a little bit mean on their poor nan, but such is life. So I'm going to go and do some baking, everybody. I hope whatever you're doing today, you have a lovely time. And I will see you very soon. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye. I'm going to try and shut all these off at the same time. It's never going to happen. Bye, Facebook. I'll say bye individually. Bye, Facebook.